Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the room. The bench is this way. And uh, today, uh, just a quick video. I get a lot of questions asking about how can a trigger airbrush be dual action? You know, like the traditional, let me go up and grab one. Like your traditional airbrush, you push down on the trigger, you pull back, down for air, back. And uh, many of you guys actually asked, how can it be that um, these are, because they, they, I guess you see a spray gun, you see somebody painting, I got a spray gun right here. Jumping around here, guys. And people see, you know, it doesn't appear to be like um, an airbrush. It, you just pull the trigger and you start painting. And uh, that is the image that they do give off, but these are dual action. And uh, I'm just gonna show you quickly at the booth, which is right here, um, how they are dual action. You know, like you just pull a little bit, you get the air, pull it, and you can actually feel where um, air starts and then paint begins. You can feel it. And uh, these are all my trigger airbrushes here. It's a Sparmax. This is my Barbatos Rex Swallowtail GSI. This is a Grex. This is another gallery right there. And uh, they all do the same. And um, I guess I can show a few of them, but we're gonna, I'm going to just show you quick how, how a uh, dual action um, is on a trigger airbrush. Some people look. Or pistol style, is that what we call these? These trigger? How oh, these pistols? I guess this is a trigger, but it's shaped like a pistol. I call them pistol styles, but uh, many call them uh, trigger style airbrushes. Um, and I have one already hooked up here at the booth, my fan cap, which uh, just started shipping. If you guys ordered my fan cap, it just started shipping. So I put one on and uh, it only works on the 0.5, but uh, it works good. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. So yeah, let's head over to the booth. And um, we'll go ahead and I'll just grab, you know, I'll show you a couple of these because they all work the same. They all work the same. And I'll just show you how, uh, how it is that a trigger style airbrush is a dual action airbrush. So let's head over to the booth and I'll show you how it works. I'm gonna pause the camera. All right, my friends, here we are at the booth. I grabbed a gallery Swallowtail Barbatos Rex airbrush for this. We're just gonna go ahead and put some rubbing alcohol in the cup, there we go. I'll do this for all of them. I'm just gonna show, I'm just gonna show a couple of them. And uh, let's get my stand. A um, little information on the stand at the end of the video. More are on the way, all right? Okay, you can see paint coming out. Here we go, ready? Can you hear it? Nothing coming out. See, so yeah, I, I can feel it stop right here. It stops right there. That's where it's going to begin to pull the uh, air valve and release the paint. So I'm going to hold up this black piece of cardboard. Nothing coming out. See it? Can you hear the air? Now I'm going to pull in the trigger a little bit. I'm going to show you how it starts to release as if you were pushing down and pulling back on the button uh, top style uh, airbrush. All right. Here we are. We're still blowing air. I'm going to pull back a little bit. Here's the stopper, and here we go. And there it is. That's it. Air, air. I use an alcohol because it's going to disappear quickly. All right? Air. You can hear the air, but nothing coming out. Push a little bit more. I can feel the stopper right here. And there it is. And you pull a little bit, and you get a little bit. You can see the lines. All right? This is the point seven, so I'm really... It's kind of doing pretty good here. And then you pull, and as you pull back... Whoa! Just like uh, a regular airbrush. You're gonna pull back. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Now, look, I'm blowing. You can see me blowing the paint. No air. I mean, just air. So that's how it goes. That's how it works. It's the same thing. It's just instead of pushing your finger and pulling, you're pulling all in one motion. No pushing and pulling. It's all done in one swing here. Just air. I can feel it now. There it goes. And there's the paint. If you want more paint, just keep pulling, 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 pulling. You get a ton of paint, particularly with this 0.7. All right. Let me uh, go ahead and switch airbrushes. All right. I'm going to grab the new one with the fan cap. Can you see the fan cap? Let's see if we got any. Oh, yeah. We still have alcohol in this. Let's just pour it back in here. All right. Let's get this one out of the way. 
same thing, air, you can hear it. But the fan cap has little pinholes here. Oh man, I hope this focuses. There you go. See a little pinhole on each side of these two fingers that kind of stick out. Let's see if I can show it to you. There you go. There's two air holes on either side of these, and it blows along with the center. What happens is those two blowing forces the cone shape into more of a fan shape, like a brush shape. And uh, I'll show you right here. That's just air. We're going to stop pulling back. You can see how it's in a line. Look at how wide the swath is I'm covering with the fan cap. Look at that. We j I just covered the whole sheet. You know? Now I'm just blowing air. Watch. I'm going to blow air. Nothing coming out because I'm out. I'm completely out. But uh, I'm blowing air. Just touching it a little bit. You don't have to go all the way. And I'm just going to dry up, like I said, the uh, alcohol. That's why I use it because it dries up fast. So there you go. That's the fan cap. But that's the same theory. I'll pick another airbrush. Hold on. Let me reach behind me. I'll show my old Grex here. Uh, let me get the alcohol. Uh, isopropyl alcohol. All right, cap that up. Same thing, just air. I'll show you that it's just air. Doesn't get a lot of a lot of feet in this one, but it stops right here. I can feel it where it stops. Now I'm gonna pull, and you're gonna see paint come out. There it is. So, yeah. Oops. This one's a little more. Not as dainty. Seems like I can get a finer line out of my .7 than this, <laughs> which is odd. Yeah, the Grex always rushing forward with its paint. It's, it's just one of the characteristics. It pushes a lot of paint through it too. But there it is. No, nope, nothing coming out. Ready? I'll start squeezing a little bit, and there it is. So that, in a nutshell, is how it's dual action. And you can see with my other one, for some reason, my other one can give me a finer line. You just pull in a little bit, and you can get your finer lines in. I, mean, I can't really show this because I'm using alcohol, and it's drying up really quickly. But uh, that's how it works. So there you go. It was a quick little test. Let me put the camera back on me, and uh, we'll close this out. All right, guys, there you go. That is how it goes. Now, Thomas from Patreon, uh, that's, I'm just going to use his name, first name, uh, Thomas uh, asked that, but I also got a ton of people uh, about the, the being the dual action trigger on, on YouTube too, so I went ahead and shot that video, instead of putting it on a Patreon, because I got a lot of them ask me that from uh, YouTube, I went ahead and, and did this for YouTube, so uh, Thomas on Patreon, there you go, this one's for you, instead of posting on Patreon, it's out here, which I'm sure you, uh, you'll see it anyway. A um, couple things I want to know. Uh, as I said, the fan cap, which works great, I just tested it, is uh, shipping now. So you guys have ordered one, should be getting it, and uh, it works great. Um, two, the, the the stand, the Barbatos Rex limited edition numbered uh, airbrush stands, um, they sold out. All 300 are gone. I guess 299 I have zero. Well, it's 300 so they gave me... Uh, I have all zeros, so I have the first, first one. Um, they're going to continue reproducing these. Uh, I think they got another, I'll say 600. I think he told me 700. 700 in production right now. Should be ready very soon. And um, those won't have my name on it, and they won't be numbered. But at least they'll be out there to the public. Um, so another batch of those are coming soon. So both of those are actually shipping and ready to go. Um, I think the cap is already shipped, and this one's about to be uh ready to go. Um, another thing, I'm looking down here at uh, my notes. Um, these just came in from the Model Hut and it's Buster's Custom Colors. These are car paints. And I think they need a clear coating just like just like uh, Splash, but look at the size difference in the bottles. I mean, close in price. Look at that. It's probably uh, This is probably uh, one ounce. This is probably two. Look at that. That's awesome. And these are the glass jars, the Boston Rounds. These are kind of like what my uh, my 2K paints come in. Yeah, same thing, same size, great bottles. These are the new jars, the new leak proof. Uh, I sold out of all three of my uh, my 2Ks, the, the 2K Black, the 2K Gloss, and the 2K Satin, which is what this one is. They're coming in uh, within a week, 
Gundam Pros will have a full restock of those within a week. I completely sold out twice, so thank you guys for that. Anyway, look at these great colors. I haven't even tested them yet. You just sent me, I think, one of every color. So uh, look at these colors. Beautiful car colors or what? Beautiful, beautiful colors. Love this deep green. Can you guys see this? Look at that. So anyway, there's a ton of them. I mean, there might be like 40 jars at least. So excited to test those. Uh, coming up very soon is this Hobby Neo test. Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine new colors from a Hobby Neo. This is their new metal. This is part of their metal line, but there's all new colors, you know, gun metal and whatnot. So I'm excited to test that. And coming up on Patreon, I'm actually working on this now. And um, this is for Adam. I want to see if Rapid Thinner for metallics makes a real difference. Oh, let's not lose the tail here. Makes a real difference with the leveling, just using regular thinner. So uh, that's going to be an experiment. And this is regular thinner. So we're going to see. Um, that's the uh, GX Green. Beautiful color. Isn't that beautiful? This is uh, Tamiya Metallic Blue. Came out kind of silvery there. Not like that. So we're going to see uh, if that works. That's I'm working on that right now for Patreon. So uh, that's also coming up. But anyway, that's the update. More airbrushes are uh, just about ready to go. They will be uh, shipping out before December's over, which is, what, two weeks? So more are coming. So uh, thanks for your patience on that. And uh, I've been using it quite a bit to get used to it, and uh, I really do like it. You saw the fan cap. It, produced, it really performed great. This is the .7. It's really, really, uh, really impressive. It does a lot. I'm going to end up leaving that needle in there uh, more often than I think. But uh, I got a spray booth. Back here behind all these models is a waterfall spray booth with three fans. So I want to see how powerful that is and um, making sure they're in stock. I, I don't like to show something that's hard to get. Um, but I am going to be demoing that waterfall spray booth, and that's coming up very soon, uh, along with the Hobby Mio colors. And then i got to go through a few other things. This uh, brand new from Aquios. This is the uh, Super Metallic series, but it's the Aquios series. And uh, I just sprayed some quickly and uh, oh I like it look at that that is a nice even silver that's gonna look good with candy on top of it so I might use this for my candy base I'm really impressed with this color I wish they did more in the lineup but they only shipped this silver to start with so uh, uh, we'll see anyway guys that is it for now uh, thanks for watching I hope I answered the question on the dual action being a trigger uh, airbrush and all these other things I talked about are coming up soon we're really busy question and the answer will be later on next week and during that uh, video. I'm going to give away uh, a spray booth, uh, an airbrush, uh, an air compressor, a, a full set. You know, I'm going to give away some paints. I'm going to give away a model, all in one box. Somebody's going to have a great gift from Santa, if uh, Santa's name is Barbatos Rex. Anyway, this is Barbatos Rex. Robert, I am signing out. Thank you guys. We'll see you all in the next video.